So we're growing some herbs in water for any of you who aren't following along. And I wanted to update you on how they're all going and all the different substrates that I've been testing out. You can see here from the height of the plants that the one with the with the drawstring is doing quite well. Um, it has the most out of the second four experiments, which are these four. You can see it's doing the best out of those. However, the very first experiment I ever did is doing the best by far. It's got the most little sprouts. I let it go too low on the water and so I've just topped it up um, and I could see that the, the grow light here um, I've got these purple grow lights that was scorching it a little bit and so I've decided that I'm going to top them all up because clearly the grow lights are a little bit too intense for them um, and this is just a learning experience for us all. This is perlite it's like white rocky substance. Um, vermiculite is the other one I tested which is kind of the same but gold and it absorbs water a bit more. Um, that one's growing okay but perlite is still better um, and the coco qua which I really thought would be the best has been the worst by far. So very disappointed in the Coco Qua. Um, I actually have started a second experiment for it using basil seeds, um, which is this one here. So this one's still not under light. Um, I've just got it like on my, de on my messy desk over there, um, just in the dark, like not super dark, but fine. Um, and this is how it's going. You can see it's got a couple of little sprouts coming through um, and the rest of the seeds are still kind of that funny gum gummy texture that they become and what I've done is I've actually got just a little bit of water in it um, I'm not sure that that's how I actually want to go with the experiments because the other one um, dried out so much so I'll keep you posted on how this is going and right now I'm about to start some more experiments um, based on these results and kind of where I want the product to go and who I want it to be for I've come up with a couple more designs I've got a little net pot that we just printed, which is very pretty. Um, and so that's, I'm going to release that next. So let me know what you'd like to see me experimenting it with because you still have time to influence what I do next. So I'm going to post like an in-depth review of this experiment on my YouTube channel. I've just made a YouTube channel um, because I think that's a bit better for this like longer form content. And you can, I can really go into all of the variables that I did and all of the controls, kind of the concerns that I have. Um, and I'd really like you to go over there and subscribe because uh, that'll really help me out and also um, you can have a lot more input there on what the next experiments I do and kind of really impact the product that I'm going to ship out to all of you when we're finished. Thank you guys for following along. This is really fun having so many people uh, invested in this product um, and wanting to grow herbs the lazy way. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.